So what's the difference between the HPMK and the HPMK-I? So what I have with me today is the HPMK. This is a standard HPMK with a heat reflective shield and a ready heat blanket. Following a change paper from the committee on TC3 in 2020 that recommended a layer of insulation, North American Rescue came out with the HPMK-I, which has an added insulation layer already built into it. As you can see, the cubes are pretty similar. The HPMKI is gonna be a little bit bigger and weight is just about the same. So let's dig into the differences on these. What I have here is the standard HPMK with the COTSI recommended layer of insulation. In this case, it's the standard issue Army green sleeping bag that we all know and love. So we've got our shield, we've got our added layer of insulation for the patient, makes a really great setup. If you don't wanna use that and you wanna have it all in one package, what you can use is the HPMK-I. Here is the HPMK-I with the added layer of Climashield. So we've got the outer protective barrier, we've got the Climashield built in, and then we've got our blue layer. The HPMK with the sleeping bag is the equivalent of the HPMK-I, except it's all in one package. So when we talk about cube space, if you use the HPMK plus the Army Green sleeping bag or whatever sleeping bag you bring, you're gonna be packing more cubes than if you just take the HPMK-I. Added advantage is when the casualty goes, you don't lose a sleeping bag. All you do is lose the HPMK-I and you use a new one. So this will pack up tighter than the HPMK plus the sleeping bag. If you're gonna go with just the HPMK and no insulative layer, you're gonna save a little bit of cube space by taking the HPMK. When would you wanna use the HPMK-I? Well, really anytime you're concerned about hypothermia, and you wanna have it all in one single package that's ready to go. Don't have to mess with an extra sleeping bag, no one's losing that, and then this one stays with the casualty. So you may wanna consider this for colder environments, which we're coming up on in the fall, that you switch over to the HPMK-I so you can put it all in a package. If you wanna be a little bit lighter, save a little bit of cubes, you can go with the standard HPMK. The important thing is when you package your casualty, you need to insulate them as much as possible. You wanna get them off the ground, you wanna get them dry, you wanna get them in an insulated layer, and you wanna get that done as quickly as possible in your patient assessment that you can do. Seal them up nice and tight and get them shipped out to a higher level of care.